In Harrogate or in London, in Wigan or Worthing, traffic conditions cause many a headache. How nice it must have been in the gracious horse and carriage days when keeping up with the Joneses meant trotting happily through the park in this elegant caracal. Of course, you had to be a pretty influential Jones to own one of these. Similar models belong to Charles Dickens Jones and the Duke of Wellington Jones. Although the days of the horse and carriage are sweet memories for a few and romantic history for the many, for the Mossman family of Luton, those days are these days. In all, they have a collection of 60 coaches, carriages and carts to grace any occasion. Goat carts were used a lot for delivering milk. Nothing is considered too lowly for this fascinating collection. On the other hand, Mr. Mossman boasts many an example of coach building at its very best. This state chariot, for example, which he's preparing to renovate, cost a thousand pounds in 1780. Even the Joneses must have winced at that figure, but just look at that suspension. If you owned a chariot, you expected comfort and convenience. Comfort in the shape of this sturdy looking hot water bottle, and there's always the convenience of being able to pull the string attached to the coachman's buttons when you want it to stop. Presumably, the coachman had to stop to pull his trousers up. Mr. Mossman, whose two daughters share his interest in carriages, became interested in them when he was a boy and has now been collecting them for 20 years. That interest has now developed into a business interest. You can bet that 99 out of 100 stagecoaches you see in a period film have been hired to the film company by him. Let your imagination picture this magnificent stagecoach with its galloping horses, their manes streaming in the wind, speeding to London from Bath to the spine-tingling sound of the post horn. It actually did make that journey with the Duke of Beaufort as its regular passenger up until 1835. The Spider Phaeton is the name of this buggy with the hood on top. Lord Lonsdale, famous for the belt he gave to boxing, owned it originally, and the colours are exactly the same as they were when he first rode in it to the National Sporting Club. What price any space project compared with a site like this? But besides the aesthetic appeal of the old coach and four, an appeal which Christmas card manufacturers have long realized, there was always the advantage of having a pint when they changed horses at the many coaching inns. And as the journey took several days, well, need we say more? I say, driver, driver, wait for me. Oh, stop, I say, stop. Oh, dear, someone pull the string. 